Go for it. Hold on a second. Is it rolling? <laughs> Hi, this is William Fickner, class of 1976, and I am so sorry and so bummed that I cannot be there tonight with you, with all of you, celebrating, uh, celebrating, fuck me. Kimmy, get the dog! Wait, do you want me to take it from the top? What's that? We're gonna, we're, we're making the video tape, honey. Get the dog, could you please? Hi, Daisy. Is it, is it, is it working yet? Wait, should I, should I include right now, um... Hey, this is William Fickner, class of 1976. I am so, uh, I'm so bummed and so sorry that I can't be there tonight to celebrate Farmingdale's 100th anniversary at the annual alumni dinner. And I am equally honored and pleased that I am part of the Centurion Club. Thank you, Farmingdale. And I congratulate all others. I congratulate everybody that's there because I wish I was there drinking like you are, like I did when I was at Farmingdale. I can say that, right? Yeah. It's been 30 years. I can say that. Um, you know, my good friend who I dearly love, Kathy Coley, Dean Kathy Coley, said to me when we talked about a video a couple of weeks ago, she said, listen, you can talk about fond memories, you can, and I said, so, so I thought about that, Kathy, and uh, uh, this video tonight is going to be the first of a 24-part series, each is about two hours long, we have time for that, right? Um, no, you know, God, Farmingdale, the influence of Farmingdale in my life. What always comes to me right away when I think about Farmingdale is I think about one individual who was just monumentally instrumental in my life. His name was Don Harvey. He was an admissions counselor. You never know where the angels come from. And Don introduced me to theater. I was a criminal justice major, and I loved it. Great department, great department. But he introduced me to theater. I didn't think I was going to change my life. I was going to go in another direction. But it opened my eyes. And, and all of a sudden, I thought about it and thought about it. And one thing led to another. And I was taken, uh, at the time when I was at Farmingdale, it was a two-year college. So I transferred to Brockport. When I got to Brockport, because of the influence that Don gave to me, I, I, I took an improv class, I took another class, I took another one. But those thoughts all came from the farm. It all happened right there. That's when I looked out my dorm window and thought, wow, what am I going to do with my life? What's going to happen? I wasn't sure, but I knew this much. It was going to be special. Um, or I certainly was going to try to have it be special. <laughs> you never know how it's going to work out. But I'm very happy and I'm very proud to say that I graduated from Farmingdale, and I wish I was there tonight, and I wish you all well. God bless you all. President Keene, wherever you are in the room, I send you my best. Take care. Look forward to the next time we talk. God bless everybody. Have a great night. I'm flying here.